Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day eight of the Leaco Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Um, two things I'm looking at right now, which is I'm just trying to see if, it, if there's an extra coin. Um, the contest is an hour and a half, but also there's a weekly premium question. So definitely, um, if you have premium, you know, hit the subscribe button. If you, if you don't, hit that, uh, uh, hit that alert button so that you know, you could watch Larry solve a premium question, one that I generally I haven't seen yet because I haven't seen many premium ones yet. Okay, so let's get to it. Today's problem is max points on a line. Given an array of points where points sub i is equal to, the, you know, x i, x sub i, y sub i represents, represents a point on x, y point, we turn the maximum number of points that lie on the same straight line. Okay. What does that mean? Okay, so you're given all these lines and then you just, okay. Uh, fine with three points are collinear, points are 300, so I guess, wait, uh, wait, what's 300 cube? Yeah, what the, 300 times 200 times 300 is 27 million, which is fast enough probably in some languages like C++, um, probably not so much in Python. Uh, so let me see. So, but I mean, there, there's, um, you know, there are other ways you can do it. Uh, um, you could hash by the um, the uh, the slope of the. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's so that for each each point, you kind of just bucket them by the. Slope. So you, you, there are a couple of things you can do. You could bucket or hash by by uh, the slope, or you can just sort in an angular kind of way, right? And that way, you detube everything on that slope because that's you know like a radial uh, sweep line, um, which is which doesn't get happen that much lately or well, nowadays. So I haven't seen it that much. But yeah, but I think either way will be fine. Um, and in that way, you could actually. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, I, I'm not going to do it because it's a lot of work, but you can think about another way of doing it is just, um, you know, for every two points, you bucket everything else and then you, you kind of use that as a basis for like uh, a sort of quick sort. But, you know, uh, and you could partition the plane in that way and the analysis is kind of the same with the degeneracies and stuff like that. And then you can play around with that and... and um, and yeah, and I think that would just be n square log n or something, which eh, maybe is still too slow. But yeah, but I think eh, I don't like doing it bucketed by slope, but maybe that's what we'll do. Um, yeah, so basically, the, the naive solution is going to be n cube. Uh, just is it n cube? I mean, it, I guess it could be as naive as you want, but um, but I guess you can also do a hash table lookup on on the slope based on each point. So basically, um, you know, for x, y in points, right? So let's just say best is zero to zero from, I guess technically every, uh, unless n is one, I guess n could be one. Uh, yeah, it could be, yeah, okay, fine. Um, so basically current is equal to one, Maybe, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. But, yeah, for x, y in points, uh, uh, what am I doing? For, uh, let's just call it x1, y1, x2, y2 for the second point. Then now we can determine the slope, right? The slope, of course, is just equal to, so dx, dy is just x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1. You can also do it the other way, depending on how you want to draw it. But basically, you given that using, I mean, the way that we're kind of doing it is, um, I'm going to draw it out a little bit just to kind of, because I feel like I'm like just waving hands and stuff like this, uh, and I could just draw it, uh, and this one probably could benefit. Hopefully today I'll remember to take it down. But yeah, but basically the idea is that, do I have it up? Yep, okay. Um, Basically, the idea is that, and you know, maybe I'll draw a crappy whatever line. So you have this point, and then you have a lot of points, right? So then the idea here is that, you know, let's focus on one point, let's say here, right? Um, and there are more optimal um, 
collinear algorithms, probably. Mm, I'm trying to think whether there's like some pigeonhole thing that you can do with a, with sorting. Um, mm, I feel like I know something. Mm, but but I don't know. But the way that I'm going to do it here, sorry, I, I'm I have I. I Many decades ago, I used to do a lot of computational geometry, so I'm trying to think whether I, I feel like I do know this, but I don't, eh, it's blanking out. Um, but yeah, but the way that I do it is that basically, you can think about it as, you know, let's just say we use this as a as a point of interest for now, then you can think about it as, you know, eh, let's pretend that's a straight line. Uh, let me actually use the straight line tool then. You know, there's a straight line here, there's a straight line here, you know, um, and what I was saying is that basically given all these points, if if there was another one, if, oh, whoops, I was using the line tool now. That's why I wasn't drawing out. Uh, you know, um, by this slope, they all have the same slope based off this point. And so if you do a bucket, you know, like a hash table bucket, then that's what you can do. Um, and that's what I'm going to try to do here. Uh, and I know that in, in Advent of Code, people love using imaginary numbers for stuff like this, but I'm not going to do it. Um, yeah. But basically, um, yeah, now you have the slope, and slope is just dy over dx. Um, and we don't want to bucket it by it because you don't want to bucket by floats in general um, because of, you know, floating point issues and stuff like that. But we can represent this as a fraction, right, of dy over dx. So then we put this in the hash table, maybe. Um, mm, you might have to be a little bit careful on on vertical lines or horizontal lines. I guess if we're doing dy over dx, um, then the dx, if the dx is zero, the dx over dy or dy over dx, man, I'm gonna, get, but I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? It's just, you can always flip it. Like you can always rotate it or yeah, flip it on x as you go to y, I but, but I'm just confusing myself. But yeah, um, so you can think about it as a fraction. Um, and of course, uh, yeah, so we have a, let's just say, mm, look up, maybe. There you go. Da, 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 da. And then you can have look up of this increment by one. Uh, maybe we should use a collection that counts. Right? And of course, um, there are a couple of things here, right? One is that if we have two thirds and four six, you know, that's going to map to different things. So we want to reduce our fraction, um, which is pretty straightforward, I think. It's just um using gcd uh, uh, and that's mostly it the other one that we were saying is what what if we have vertical lines so we have dy over dx as long as you're consistent it doesn't matter but um i think it should still i mean the way that we did it is okay it would just be a rid ridiculous fraction um but in that case i think dy should get I don't actually know anymore, but yeah, let's take a look at this and then we'll see. Um, and we'll add, yeah. Okay, and then now we don't even need a current. Um, we want to, yeah, maybe we do, eh. Because they, the way that I did it is a little bit awkward, so I just continue if it's the same number. Um, and, and that's this. Okay, all the points are unique, so we're okay. Okay, so wait, did I still have my thing? Okay, I just want to make sure that I didn't still have the thing on the screen. Um, okay, and then now we just, you know, take a look at the values. My weekly is a little stuck or something. Um, you know, we take a max of this, and that's pretty much it. All right, so best is you go this plus one for the point. Uh, well, this max or best and or this um yeah the plus this is just all the values and of course the plus one includes the point that we're having um i don't think this works in all cases but i want to test a few things including just one point because so i think this may return like a not an array or not an iterator yeah this thing i think i could add a default though so does that work mm. Int and oh, oh, oh no 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 um just like a default is equal to zero or something like that right 
Okay, yeah, so that makes that work. Because um, I, I guess it was just doing a max between those two elements. Um, and then how to add it? Oh, it's, I, eh. And then the other thing that I wanted to test was vertical lines um, and horizontal lines. I guess why not? Um, so two, one, three, one, right? Okay, and then we want to test the other one, um, which is. Huh. Cause I, cause GCD behavior isn't always. Can I know how it is in uh, some languages, but I also don't know what it is in some other languages. So that's why I want to put. Cause some sometimes when one of it is zero, um, it takes the the, the non-zero number. But sometimes it just I don't know. It feels inconsistent to me. So that's why. Yeah. So okay. So the GCD of zero and two will be that okay and also the other thing that i didn't really consider too deeply is negative numbers um but in this case it actually is fine um maybe accidentally uh apparently i haven't solved this one yet so okay let me give it a submit hopefully this has all the edge cases but uh and well luckily for me faster than i could finish that statement it actually finished running a 10 13 day streak um yeah uh, like i said this is going to be n square be the way that we did it can we do better than n square i feel like we can but i don't really hmm. i feel like there's some like angular sweep type like convex hoey can we get the answer from a convex hole i don't know because it can always just be like some in a lot of interior points so And then there's like maybe doing something with the dual, the the um the edge to dual. The the dual graph, which sometimes uh lets you get stuff, but I don't know. Hmm. I don't I, I don't I mean that's something that is more literature based, so if I knew it it would be in the literature, but I honestly don't remember. Um, and maybe people actually already know it. Is there uh, uh wonder if there is no one is doing the end. Okay, well I, I am curious whether there's a N log N solution in general, but hmm. or at least if there is they're not doing it. Um hmm. Okay, I mean uh yeah I Mm, okay yeah I, I have no idea so that's all i have for today uh for this problem i'm gonna do the premium question after this and then there's a contest after that so um yeah stay good stay healthy to good mental health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye